a lizard mm -hmm. in Nigeria will not become an alligator mm -hmm. in America. <laughs> <laughs> if you're an alligator, you will always, always be an alligator. You will always be an alligator. You will be seeing mm -hmm. so much opportunities all around you mm -hmm. and not do something about it. And I said to myself that I'm going to be bigger than all of you. I'm going to prove to you there is gold in Nigeria. You mentioned eight towers. I thought you meant eight floors. <laughs> We've had 24 hour light since they moved it. Oh, Not wow. a blink. Oh, wow, 24 hours. 24 hours light. Like Restaurants over the waters. We're going to have bridges, connecting, cares. There's a developer who said that if you should pick his development and put it in the middle of Atlanta, it will yeah. fit. Is this the Absol kind of development? Abs absolutely. What do people like me do to get away from my way? Don't think about it. The quality is the same, everything. So we're offering so much mm -hmm. more for less. If we know that Africa is the future, mm -hmm. then let's start to prepare. You know, when I go up, I want to be like him. <laughs> our, our leaders are not really helping. Mm -hmm. You know, we use young men, they stay, stay. The, the get rich quick mm -hmm. syndrome. If you want to live a prosperous life, mm -hmm. you've got to work Boy. for it. Hello guys, welcome back again to another amazing, amazing episode. And uh, as you guys already know, we are here in Nigeria, uh, looking at some properties, also speaking with developers who are doing amazing, building homes for family here in Nigeria. And uh, today we are here with someone very special, a uh, highly esteemed individual. Uh, he goes by the name Pastor, uh, no, no, not Pastor, Dr. Bank Omoteye. And uh, he's been building some amazing properties here. We want to, you know, have a chat with him. Uh, see how he mean his story began and also real estate and how it's been so far. So without further ado, Doctor, please welcome on the show. All right. Thank you so much. Um, nice to have you. Um, by the way, you know, it's, um, uh, Dr. Bishop Bancomotri is the name of I'm a pastor. A pastor is all well, well, so it uh, can't be taken away from it. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes. I've heard so many amazing uh, things about you. Also, in terms of real estate um, homes you've built over the years, but I want us to go back just a little bit to how even it's it started for you, your own story, even your upbringing. Uh, if you don't mind sharing with me and my audience, All right? We've been on this journey for maybe like thirty years, very British, right? And um, of course, we did start out as a developer. I mean, I walked through the mm. you know path, mm. you know. As an agent of on the coast before yeah. I became that. So uh, I was, mm. um, I worked with the legacy government, okay. you know, um, uh, Ministry of Greek. Agriculture. Oh, wow. So, so. Did quite a number of things in you know, um, fish farm. I was quite excited about that, but um, unfortunately, um, I'd invested so much mm -hmm. to eat and, and um, fish farming. What kind of fish were you farming? Not catfish. Catfish, okay. <laughs> and then and go to the farm. And yeah. I mean, it was about time to harvest mm -hmm. that I discovered that um, there was nothing there. Wait, and, what? Uh, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> because they all they poached everything. Oh, wow. Um, usually. So it did help in the Monday, mm -hmm. right? Um, so they've been doing it, you know, so, uh, you know, the way catfish, you know, mm -hmm. in the water, so, you know, when it puts feet, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, they just rush yeah. and, you know, so, um, every Sunday, mm -hmm. you know, of course, I go to church, I'm a pastor, like I said, you know, so, um, by the time before I come back, right, that's when they do that, mm -hmm. you know. I haven't done. Um, of course, by the time I come back, you know, you're through your feet. Mm -hmm. But you still see some, so they won't be yeah. cutting everything. And yeah. They will still leave some there. Yeah. You know, that. I mean, their quantity was reducing. Uh, <laughs> I didn't suspect, you know, until one day, I mean, they, I mean, they just took out everything. Wow. And, lost. and that's where your employees who did that. Yeah. Uh, wow. I mean, well paid, you know, and you. How long ago was this? Uh, so, this was. Um, like 15, mm -hmm. 15 years ago, my okay. like, rearing cut footage yeah. not gonna work because of all these things. So I decided, I came up with mm -hmm. a smart way, mm -hmm. you know, because 
sort of things yeah. we hadn't saw mm -hmm. then was that, I mean, you put in so much money in, yeah. into rare the fish, right? Yes. And at the end of the day, um, you're selling a selling fish for some. Getting small in return. Small. Yeah. Uh, the people that buy the market woman, mm -hmm. you know, so then we were selling around 400 naira, they're about per kilo, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right? I mean, and for you to reach them, you probably will have people's paints almost that, yeah, for to reach them from shingling mm -hmm. and all that. You know, so maybe at the end of the day, your profit manager yeah. is just saying, you know, 50 naira mm -hmm. or 20 naira, or she, that's if you make anything at all, mm -hmm. you know. And um, but this woman, the buy the come and they go sell these things that you spent like for months minimum yeah. to raise. In one day they go sell it and they're selling it for a thousand or more. Or so they're making six hundred. They're making lot. And you've spent so much to get little or yeah. nothing to mm -hmm. content with people that peer for it it was just a, so i mean i was like okay so let me mm -hmm. to stand back a little bit to see so, mm -hmm. i decided to come up with an ingenious way of marketing mm -hmm. so i wanted to just let me boycott this for that you know let me deal directly with you Mm, and I say, yeah. So the market. So I mean, I need these beautiful cards, all right? Glass. And then you sell them yourself. That you know, at people. So we push in, push them to strategic places around. Our, you know, catfish. They're in the water and they're moving and all that by the roadside. So people passing. They see a for them. Yeah. moving and all that. And, oh, okay. I want one. I want this. I want that. I want this. So. I mean, I was able to get um, a lot more, you mm -hmm. know, for it and that. So it became a bit difficult mm -hmm. to um, continue with that line of business, mm -hmm. you know, because there is no way I was going to sit there trying to fall out. Trying to make a <laughs> Cool. Every time mm -hmm. I have, um, I'm seeing vision mm -hmm. of myself in the real estate, mm -hmm. you know, I'm seeing Houses and I made massive high rises, you know, um, and I'm seeing it in my vision and I'm like, wow, this seems interesting. So I'm like, where do I begin? Mm. How do I you know, start? I'm fucked up. And I, I grew up for this side, the neighbors call Agigi. Agigi. Right, yes. So I know the name. <laughs> yeah, that's where uh, I'm a descendant of Agigi. Mm. Right, so. And so you don't see any high rises, you don't see those kind of things, you know, there, you know, I remember the first time I came to the island, somewhere in the um, late 70s, so then it, it never, every year it is or thereabout, right? Mm -hmm. I came to the island, Victor Island, and in 1004, and I'm seeing high rises. I'm like, wow! Wow, <laughs> cool. wow, you will speak to yeah. my mind, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe that stayed with me. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, they kind of saw a scene in your mind after you saw that. Yeah, and it's ill, really. It's, it just it won't, it won't get away. Yeah, when this vision kept popping up in my spirits, and I'm like, so where do I start from? Mm -hmm. You know, and cloth pies. I met with a couple of my friends mm -hmm. oh, that I've been in the industry and doing so well. I'm like, I'm a guy now. You're convincing them to invest in <laughs> you. So, and it was just, let me put the ropes first. Let me understand the industry. Let me understand, you know, let me work with you guys. Let me, you know, so, no. I mean, I started to work, you know, with the guys okay. in the industry to learn one or two things. And I started basically with marketing other people's property. Oh, wow, Jim. Wow. So, and start selling, getting to uh, people that need accommodation mm -hmm. as an agent and make my commission on and blah, blah, blah. So around 2005, okay. they're about the expatriate market, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. had it so because of policy, the government and all that. So you declined? And yeah, a whole lot of them, you know, had to leave, mm -hmm. right, so. And um, but I learned a lot working with expatriates and learned, you know, for them mm. the quality of what yeah. they 
They just they want us to take they the standard and everything. Standard. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything. They are really so finicky mm -hmm. about, you know, we for us uh, yeah. and everything. We don't care. <laughs> when that um, um, market mm -hmm. started to decline, decline yeah. because of uh, the policies, policies mm -hmm. and all that, you know, I was like, well, I've learned a whole lot seeing you know, on from this guy. It's, it's time for me to start your own part of the thing. Right? Wow. And um, develop um, real estate mm -hmm. and that even though um, the, it's, it's not directly targeted at yeah. the expert expatriate, yeah. They were still loving. Yeah, it's but when that's done and quality. It's one of the end. And the truth of it is that our people, too, anyway, I mean, they love, they deserve it. <laughs> we're all over the world, yeah. right? Thing. So that, so they deserve, yeah. you know, so we, I decided, look, wait, that's, that's the standard, you know, you mm -hmm. not going to go below that. No. You know, so, right. so when we eventually started uh, on development, you know, um, that will be back in um, around 200. 12, 2012. Yeah, 12, 12, 12, yeah. So, those what was that we took consideration, you know. So, everything just must check for me. Yeah, it has to be world mm -hmm. class mm -hmm. combat. You know, what's your drive though? What, what pushes you? Well, so honestly, mm. I I love to make a difference. Mm. I love to make a difference. So, um, the real estate industry in Nigeria has gone through it a lot. Um, so many people have lost confidence in the industry. You know, um, you know, we do a lot of off plant sales, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And people have promised, and people have invested, um, they are live from the nine. Oh, all their saving work. And then it goes, it goes away and all. It's, 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 it is horrible. Mm -hmm. Clean. It's, it's, you know, so we set out that look when you reach the narrative, mm -hmm. you know, um, people are not that, we're going to bring back that confidence. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring back that trust, yeah. you know, and we're good to, oh, so, I mean, my Nigeria is huge. Yeah. Potentials. That's amazing. Yeah. Thing, right? You, there's a form of knowledge that should be happening. Exactly. You know, so the opportunities are in Mongo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, it, so would be seeing mm -hmm. so much opportunities on around you mm -hmm. and not do something about it. I, I mean, it's in just just worth a walk. Mm -hmm. You know. And did you ever at one point had to travel abroad to, to kind of. I don't know, in Jackpot, but just to go make money, right? And then come back to the contest and invest. Normally, that's most of our stories. Yeah. Uh, did you, by any chance, in your life, in the beginning stages, do that? And was that beneficial if you did? Did that add to your, even, you see how your mindset is now? You want quality, you want to make sure that it's up to standard, it's world class, because we deserve it. You know, talk to me about that a little bit. So, well, I doubt they in any um, young Nigerian that never know you with the template on traveling out of Japan at some point. Oh, I tried to jump out, you know, and um, after university, mm -hmm. there is absolutely free. In fact, if I had the opportunity to have done it while well, I was at school, <laughs> you know, even finished the so we think keep life. You know, I tried to open, mm -hmm. um, it just didn't work. Mm -hmm. did it. You just never gave me the visa, mm. right? Yeah, but I tried it. I but you were able to stay and make it work here. So at some point, mm. I just said, look, mm -hmm. you better, well, there's nothing for you. I'll just, <laughs> just make, do what it happen here. Yeah. Mm. You know, so, but, so I just, I just shot my mind to it. Look, let me do it. And I promised myself, that, mm -hmm. okay, so all of my friends mm -hmm. that, had to jack up at that time. And I said to myself that I'm going to be bigger than all of you. Mm. I'm going to prove to you that mm. um, there is gold in Nigeria. 
if you will go for it, you will get it. I like that. I mean, though, it's not so. I well, and I've started to grow my faith, mm. you know, so well, and I discovered that it is not where you believe, fall who you are. Uh, your mindset. It is your mindset. It's what you believe, you know, like um, um, as a man thinks it himself. Mm. So he is, right? Um, one of the greatest uh, to the head of God mm -hmm. uh, that came out of here, uh, Archbishop E. Dausa, mm -hmm. said something that sticks will stick in me forever. And he said, Elisa mm -hmm. in Nigeria will not become an alligator mm -hmm. in America. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> yeah, the environment is better and all that. Mm -hmm. But really, if you're an alligator, you always be an alligator. You always be an alligator. I think I was, I was, and I am an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, and that's very <laughs> true. Mm -hmm. right. So, um, I decided to do it. I think mm -hmm. I was called. Oh, for oh, some mm -hmm. yeah, right. So, oh my, of course. I mean, there's challenges uh, on yeah, here. Full knocks, you know, along the way, but I decided to do it, and eventually, of course, on my new get you particular. Stage and you have it. That I mean, you can travel. Mm -hmm. So I've been so I've been around the world. Mm -hmm. and things you know after and I mean so I'm, I go I I, I go everywhere mm -hmm. and just think okay what's going on there. Yeah. And every time I'm out of this country, all I'm looking at is real estate. Mm -hmm. Looking at when you high rise, I'm looking at what's happening. I'm looking how they're doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to engineers. I'm talking to so I, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what gives me a kick. Mm -hmm. I just love Prius. I just love mm -hmm. bring those massive high rise with All that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So there was this young man. Mm -hmm. um, he came to Lagos for the first time. Mm -hmm. Lagos Island. And uh, uh, you know, in Lagos Island, yeah. you know, you have a lot of area boys, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. boys uh, harassing people and all that. Yeah. This guy came from the village, you know, and with somebody who was like me. Like, yeah. <laughs> Come to you. Yeah. 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 So looking at all the high rises. So this particular guy, you know, so it was, he came there and he was looking amazed at the high rises he was saying. And he was so, Fascinated, yeah. So one area boy, you know, one of those orchids, yes, you know, and saw him. I was like, this guy is a DJC, yeah. Okay, it's probably a village. Let him, let him, let him, let him, let him, let him, let him check him out. So he goes to him and he says, Hey, guy, well, what are you looking at? Mm -hmm. And the guy says, I'm no, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking you know, out. And the guy says, do you know that for every high rise that you know one, you have to pay 100 now? <laughs> <laughs> says, I didn't know no, what is really. <laughs> how, how many have you looked at? The guess, no, I've only seen about 10 or oh, uh, wow. Okay, 10, that's 1,000 there. <laughs> 1,000 naira. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want, okay. <laughs> 1,000 naira. So when the red boy left, the guy was saying, oh, see this fool. I've seen like 13. <laughs> <laughs> I love the conversation. You have an amazing story. <laughs> I'm inspired. So guys, we're going to walk around and you know, show you guys some of the properties they have available here. Yes, even though you're living in your apartment, yeah. right? I mean, you still have that hotel feel, you know, like Grand Service. So everything on your knees, so you're full, you are so it you evening, we care at you, or with non tree, the care at you, or cleaning, which, you know, we, we just, it's just like you are in the bed, you know, in the hotel, I say so. And um, that's uh, the past <laughs> um, of the NBA, the produce and manage goodbye. Um, with the hospitality manager. So, okay, so we're surgeon is your boy, you come in and you'll do all the medicine in the second and all that. So, and that's it. One of the things we do is, you know, different touches and different places, you know, of reaching out to different people's mm -hmm. tips. Mm -hmm. 
So based on the client specifications, you can, can just model it to it. Model things. Okay. So different so uh, people's um, expectations. Mm -hmm. like when that's that. So kitchen in there. Okay. So do you a feature? Mm -hmm. Oh, and I love the quality of the equipment. Bosch. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, that's, that's standard for us. But I'm sure you think of that and this and so this is how the Japan become, mm -hmm. you know, Falling with three tight treats on both ship equipment, you know, fridge, and um, also um, you can have the wa washing machine. So, I thought, you know, stall. I'm going to take some bit of force. Yeah, so part is that uh, these doors, uh -huh. we were made in Nigeria. Oh, wow. You know, so, our pipe. And not clients that uh, will come in and they're like, wow, this your doors are beautiful. I yeah. want them to say yeah. that. We're actually in Poland from and I'll be a thinking or Italy. Italy. <laughs> First thing in the bed, yes. On the bed, you can sit on the side. Well, and that's amazing who's we'll there, you know. And of course, we just, these apartments, um, this like one of our short letter apartments. Okay. When your cover is your becomes with all the. Okay, pajamas, it's a mere house. The towel, it's a still best, it's still past. Okay. But there, they bought the bear, so you have a toilet there. Wow. So, uh, and the materials. Okay. The toilet, so. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it's a new hotel. Like hotel. Like a hotel. So even if somebody buy the property, you guys can manage it so and put it, okay. You know, so one of the things you've done is you need to infuse that lifestyle um, and hospitality into uh, whatever. So um, the idea is to ensure that um, our investors keep getting mm -hmm. value, good value for their money. I mean, it's a space you walk into one of the old doors, you're impressed with like, it. Yeah. Uh, you're in, you in a five star hotel. <laughs> so that's the that's very charm. I like the interior designing. Yeah. And do you guys have an in-house interior design now or you? Oh, sure, sure. We do. We do. So this door mm -hmm. is called portrait. So um, the entire um, development, the corner tile, mm -hmm. you know, but we develop in phases. So the first phase of the development, which is made up of two towers. Okay. You know, Joined so they're next to each other, yes. So they're joined, they're joined, okay. Ground floor and on the first floor. So when you are in the second tower, you can walk you to the third. Yes, I walk you. So this block, let me say, um, um, which is the first phase, is called the silhouettes. Silhouette, uh, yes, you know, and the, all the, the, the other blocks are made differently. So this is silhouette, and the next one that. I said we're delivering you know, like it's called portrait. Portrait, okay. Yeah, so why is it called portrait? So, like, so there's always, you know, a reason I'm the name. Name is, yeah. Um, that war, it's just facing this like we put together, so yeah, it's just, it's just like it, it's hot. Yeah, ah, it's, you know, in, it's, you know, like a painting. Like a painting. <laughs> so, that's it. Yeah, because this is behind it. Oh, mm. yeah. Like, you know, that caster is like a, yeah, Shand shadow, okay. Shadow of that picture, yeah. That's portrait. I'll see the shadow. You yeah. so, yeah. Portrait is much better. <laughs> so that's portrait. Mm -hmm. So this is silhouette. Silhouette. Oh, I know. Okay. Silhouette of the portrait. I see. Yeah. That makes sense. Wow. Hello, Tito. Hello. Hello. So I'm here for the uh, thing. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Well, uh, please tell us briefly about what you guys do in yeah. the province. Orbit Hospitality and Facility Management is the management arm of all facilities that has been built by Cropstone. I'm sure the MD would have told you that our properties are meant to be classy, five star, and the dream of the MD is also to ensure that Come 10 years, come 20 years, it keeps looking better than it was from the beginning. So that is what we do. So I head the hospitality arm. I have a colleague who I'm sure you will meet who handles the facility management arm. So if you notice, if you've been to other 
shot with other apartments or other high rises around, you find that they don't have this five star hotel feel that will bring here. So what hostility does for Orbit is to ensure that for every guest that walks in right from the gate to the entrance, have that feeling of a five star hotel. So we've created an ambience, you can see the lobby here. We have a concierge, a concierge desk where even though you're a resident or you're a short leg visitor, you can reach out for flight booking, support, uh, short to services, or you're a visitor to the country for the first time and you want to do a tour, we could handle that for you straight from this, from his desk. And guess what? If you're a short leg user here, so assuming you, you're coming and you want to stay with us, of course, we offer bed and breakfast. Oh, really? Exactly. So we have uh, a kitchen, five to chefs. We have a cafe. We have an outdoor terrace, our gym. And even with the other structures coming up, we have more amazing facilities in it. So we are giving end-to-end -end hospitality services. So it differentiates us from every other property. So imagine you live here and you feel like you're residing in a five-star hotel. Exactly, so that's the feel we bring to the, to the space. Then that's the FM person will tell you what, what the facility management team does is to ensure that for every little defect, every little um, fault we have is attended to on the spot. It is beautiful. Thank what you. Also doing here. It's very beautiful. Um, normally, a lot of foreigners come to Nigeria. Yeah. And before when they go home with a bitter taste and because of bad customer care, mm -hmm. um, they, they don't feel the five-star treatment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're here, you've seen, you've heard. So you are a tourist, you are a business person who is visiting Nigeria for the first time or for your next visit. Iconic Towers is a place to be and you have the orbit of Stagnant Personal Management on ground to welcome and cater to you. Um, you want to be home away from home. So you want to have the hotel feel and you also want to have the freedom to live, cook, uh, you know, ex enjoy your stay like you are in your home. This is a place to be. And also you can check us on our website, orbithostagnantfm.com. You'll find out more details about us. And if you're an investor who wants to invest in, in real estate, you want to own an apartment, a one bed, two bed, three bed, or four bed penthouse, you can also do that because it's the joy of having it with Clockstone is that you're going to feel like your space, you live in a five-star hotel environment without bothering the hazards of trying to create these experiences yourself. And I'm like, you, you mentioned eight towers. I didn't get it. I, mean, you, I thought you meant eight floors. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, standing here, right. you literally have, have eight buildings yes. coming up at the same time. Yes. It's eight residential towers and one hotel tower. So making nine. Nine. Yes. Wow. I don't know about the same time. This is okay. impressive. So that's the first phase. Yeah. And that's called silhouette. Yeah. Silhouette. Okay. So that's this, this is the second phase, right? And um, that's their portrait. Portrait. This is going to be delivered at the said in July. In July. Oh, yes. It's almost complete. I can see almost completed. So, but then the internals are almost done. Wow, got it. Yeah, yeah so it's yes. Um, we have one bedroom. We need schloss, two yeah. bedroom flats. Yeah, three bedroom mezzanine. Yeah, four bedroom. Uh, penthouse. penthouse, which are in three levels. This is a penthouse also, three levels. Like one. But here, based on market demand, demand. So, we have one bedroom flat, the three bedroom flat. The three bedroom flat. Mm. People were asking for it, but you know, there. So, we had that in the show and so forth. So, then the penthouse, you know, beginning that one is yes. on three levels. So, we have some people that are like, ah, no one is the bigger. He said, those people. A massive, so where you have two units here in house uh -huh. on a floor, up yeah. there with the floor. Here you have one penthouse on the floor, mm -hmm. floor end to end to as well. Wow. On the whole floor, on the whole floor, um, entering massive. Mm -hmm. So we have that here. That's impressive. 
blocks. I see the blocks are very white. That means there's a lot of cement. Oh, wow. <laughs> exactly. And it, wow. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what? And so, by the way, mm -hmm. our builders mm -hmm. are one of the best in the country. And so, yo, I mean, amazing. We call it for. That's the show. And when you're talking about uh, best construction of the company, so the Nigeria, your so called Chibos Bank, you're on a I mean, also have a project that has been constructed by Julius Bede. Okay. So that is the biggest and struggle for the not you know. Not care why then. Then we try to four months. In turn four months, it should be ready. Okay. No. But sometimes, you know, some things, conferences, and things that will happen. We have a project manager okay. there. Right. So, um, and that is um, APD. Well, and the first one, on the Gibrino. So, and the juvenile things is veteran in industry. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you're looking at experience, mm -hmm. several years of experience, seeking mm -hmm. and delivering, um, you know, you know, and yeah, this mad material. Okay. So, I want to know, I mean, obviously, you do have a lot of men on the field right now working every day. How was it like, you know, seeing this or even micromanaging this project of this magnitude? This sort of project cannot be micromanaged. <laughs> It can only be done because you have good teams that you've delegated to, and the structure is very critical. Uh, so you have to make sure, like uh, Dr. Toro said, who, oh, by the way, we've enjoyed such an amazing relationship with, because one of the key factors here is the teamwork. And to have a project management team and have a client, and to be part of the, of the, of the client team, where communication is seamless, uh, there's an understanding, uh, there's a fusion of ideas. It makes things run smoothly. I mean, how many jobs if I do? Well, this, this, this is bright. This is, so I'm, there's something we always talk about, urban renewal, we're excited to be part of that. Mm. Uh, Lagos is changing very quickly. As you move on, you're creating jobs. So the jobs here, uh, from those who, the value chain is incredible. Because you're talking about those who are supplying materials. So if you look at the amount of concrete that's gone in here, cement, uh, to those who hold the granite, yeah. uh, oh, here we're using premix concrete. All through this project was premix. So the batching plant system was what was used for practically all the concrete here. And that is short for quality because the concrete is being co is being controlled in an environment that's there's sufficient quality assurance, right? So. There's value chain there. The person that's mixing the concrete, they have to deliver cement to that person, and they have to de deliver granite to that person. They have to deliver sand to that person. So look at, just imagine all that, the transportation, the drivers um, that deliver all those materials. Then you start talking about delivery here, but of course you mechanize the process as well so that you're not just using, you're making it efficient for the workers. So the equipments, right, for the batching, makes it easier to convey to location. Um, and then those who are installing, here you have carpenters. Each, each trade has a uh, support staff, like a laborer that's supporting that staff. So you have carpenters, you have steel fixers, you have masons, blocks. I can't tell you how many blocks have been molded here. So it's a, it's a value chain. So we're, we're, we have a block factory making blocks. That's a business by itself. Materials being sent to that, the block delivery to site, and it goes on and on. So that's just the carcass. Then you now talk about the finishing, right? Where you have finishers, you have tilers. So we, we partnered again, part of creativity in project management is how do you structure the project? Do you give the whole thing to one contractor or do you have different contractors come and play in the area of strength? And then you manage all those contractors together. That's what we've done here. So there's one contractor just handling the frame. And even that contractor, we told that to make the building efficient, can you consider the slabs being precast? So all his casting with his formwork are just the columns and the beams. The slabs are pre-made and delivered to site. So what we're able to do with that is that the whole 12 floors, for example, of this tower and that tower, the precast system has already been delivered to site for the whole floors. So the contractor just does his columns and beams and then you put the slabs. So that's, a, that's an example of a the precast beams and so all the precast beams for this building you can see the soffit see how it is the beams are put in so all the contractors doing is the columns and the beams so we've already paid for the whole slabs 
and uh, the tower cranes i think we have about three tower cranes here that's why for this kind of development you need a company like bcl who have been a fantastic partner because they have the equipment and they understand how to work with those packages what other technicalities do you think is very important so in terms of that same innovation and concept uh, beyond the concrete work even when it came to the mechanical electrical design which is very important so you also want energy efficiency would be so the way we've done the whole campus we centralized the supply of power water uh, sufficiently so we have a we've planned the water supply the boreholes the sewage treatment heat um, and then especially for power we have three sources of power we have gas uh, by uh, connecting to by connecting to uh, an IPP we have a diesel generator and then we have the PKEDC the good feedback we get is that we've had 24 hour light since they moved it not a blink so nobody wants to move out wow 24 hours 24 hours light that's the facility manager here yeah, 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 yeah. mm -hmm. how, how do you maintain 24 hours we have three sources of fire gas Public power supply and standby generators, okay. everything fully automated. We okay. out and in just a few seconds. The last one and a half years power has ever gone for one minute. He did this properly. Wow. Top notch services, power, critical equipment from water, clean water, portable water, all the basic things like access control, CCTV, everything. Top notch. That's, That's the more much this is why the occupants don't want to leave because yeah. they are having five-star hotel experience. Because of me coming to Nigeria, people were telling me that there's a light going off and on. Never, yeah. never. never. Wow. It's never. Everything is fully automated, synchronized, and then the services is top-notch. Yeah, I hope you've had a great experience. Uh, just taking the tour beyond Urban Renewal. It's also uh, what it does to the economy, the employment it creates. And I think, um, you know, if anything, this encourages you know, the growth of the market in the industry. And so, hey, if you want to really have that experience, seamless development, well-coordinated, good quality, Crocsdale is the team to be part of. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. What would you say to, you know, fellow colleagues or even investors, even diasporans uh, looking to invest on the continent or, you know, people who are even nervous about investing but you've done your first one, second one, and now eight hours. What would you say to people like that? Well, so, first of all, I'll just say, bear in mind that a lot of things that people say about investing in Nigeria, they're unfounded, right? You know, um, they're a lot of fear. Yes. People have had their fingers bright, but that is because when you're probably dealing with the wrong set of people. Look, when you are in relationship with the right the people, honestly, you are playing and in a good game, you know, for investors out there. And that's why, like I said, it's for, you know, me have set out, see, make a huge difference and we are the All our investors, everybody that's invested in the first phase of the project in the first minute, they are and they're having amazing returns on that investment. You know, the property um, um appreciated and bond would be over three hundred percent. What? Dude. Yeah, I didn't get it. So he just um, please don't miss out guys before you read later the time is now come invest in real estate on the continent here in nigeria lagos all right now you made a mention of a lot of development but normally i'm motivated by the money and then i see a lot of big numbers here i <laughs> what would be the starting price or it's hard to tell after this is completed yeah so for with like what you see here, I mean, they're all fully sold out. Okay, fully sold out. You could, but um, 
thing with the towel, the thing, not to cry, easy then one and there. So um a one bedroom to the ghetto. One bedroom about scamming. A hundred million, a hundred twenty million. Evil. Um so we have that, you know, depending on the size of it people. Um when I'm saying million, I'm talking nine naira dollars. Oh pounds red thing. Send uh, two bedrooms, regular from about two hundred million, you know, to three hundred million. Well okay. three bedrooms about three hundred kilo kilo to four hundred million. And then of course the penthouses, you know, ranging the train I give out six hundred million to a billion, depending on the size that we all that keep as well. But the important thing is that um we're able to actual walk through is the structure. So you know, the pillion structure in Hong Kong, so it's not something else. They have a mortgage system. Yes. Okay. So they have all that is in place, you know, you spread the payment even more. A number of years, I mean, I'll make sure you have you with our banks to provide mortgage for something, you know. So we have, and we have a tenant's gateway that we just to put together with them. Um, Providers, you know, that allows you to seamlessly remit your money. I'm good. And as you are remitting with it, we want to have a structure in place that puts you to earn interest mm. on whatever you're remitted. Oh, wow. So, one of the things that we've noticed is that um, um, diasporans remit money in law. And you pay with money. Like for social, in some of people, social, in um, West Yen, you know. But of course, that is from so one of the things because rather than just sending money, you know, so people of their wealth here, this, when he puts it in an investment, he knows that money will be earning interest, mm -hmm. right? Then we're taught, and you can mix the meaning, mm -hmm. the wealthier needs of the people mm -hmm. with the returns, mm -hmm. and your capital mm -hmm. is still remain at all, rather than just. Using your capital, using your capital, so very open. Wow, these are some of the things that we got. So obviously, um, you're a very busy man. Uh, what does it take to do what you do to be able to multitask, you know, manage others' businesses, and still, you know, live your normal <laughs> life as usual? Love what you do um, goes from face of in um, other uh, task, you know. So, um, you know, feeling your passion, your passion, right? And that's well, uh, takes a lot of that extra energy that you get from that, that excitement, you know, it helps you do so much more, you know, and like they say, um, if you want to go or fast, uh, you go, you go alone, yeah. you know, if you're going to go far, yeah. you know, you go with a team, yeah. so when you have people that you work with, that is, understands the vision that you do, you know, the people that you share, the, uh, common ideologies, you know, people that um, you sing to it, yeah. you know, and uh, you just sing. I achieve so much, you know, everybody is on top of his game, you know, yeah. everybody is doing something about a uh, common goal. Uh, you spoke a, a lot about making it, it here in Nigeria. You know, for the country that I'm coming from, I think it's quite similar from Ghana. Um, the youth, normally they are very discouraged, right? So you find that a lot of diasporans themselves are moving back saying there's nothing in America, there's nothing in the UK, it's just slavery. And then they see the opportunity to see it, right. they build houses, they, yeah. they open restaurants. Yeah. And the youth here are saying quite the opposite. All right, so uh, you spoke a lot about, about that, that if you are a lizard here in, in, in Nigeria, you will not turn into an alligator when you get to the UK or America. Right. Mm -hmm. We still be a lizard. Mm -hmm. What would you say to the youth, um, in order for them to you know, add to what you said in their own, to emphasize on it's actually very possible to make it here uh, if you surround yourself with the right mindset or you change your mindset as well? 
the fuck so so you nailed it you know when you said mindset you know it's all about mindset and how at leaders that not really help you ego look at my should show name this this the with the get rich quick mm-hmm. syndrome and you know then it's like it's, it's what is it you know then up the door wall to do the cry you know easy man it says money you know what and it's because i mean they're, they're seeing the politicians that get into power they just you know i mean people don't seem to value uh, Live or um, live hard work. Look, there is no easy, um, peace of life, right? You know, you've got to work for it. You got, and working in itself is it's it's rewarding on its own. The mere fact that you're getting so, um, or for me, though, in all honesty, it's not just about. Um, the financial return rewards that we get from this thing, you know, I mean, to see what we're doing coming to life, to see this project that we can see, you know, coming to manifestation, and to see the so many things that are spinning off what we're doing, you know, it's it can be so exciting. And so there is a scripture that says there is reward in odd labor, in other odd labor is profitable, you know. So, um, if you want to live a profitable life, if you want to live a prosperous life, you've got to worry for it. We are a mix. Actually, your bitch look way blue than my country. <laughs> so when I tell you that um, Africa is so blessed, yeah, I mean this one talking about in honor. I mean, so that, look at this waterfront, mm-hmm. amazing view, you know. I mean, um, people pay so much to to get a land, get a land there. Basically, this is our new um, location. Okay, so this is. I uh, was looking at um, over seven hectares. Oh wow, of land. Yes. So is it going to be similar uh, apartments, just like the uh, iconic, or uh, yeah. just like so mixed development? So okay. We're having residentials. Um, we're having hotels. We're having actual space and retail spaces. We're having um, restaurants. We're having um, conferences, conventions. So wow. a whole lot of things. And see, of course, the beach front, a lot of art. Like a multi-purpose operational oh. center. So we fresh the centers, you know. So it was in town, um, a poncho meeting over there. I mean, the pairs are there. We're going to have a restaurant, chill at the waters. We're going to have bridges connecting um, the pairs and the, uh, um, the promenade, promenade over there. Uh, it's it who longs, you know, thing. we're still, we're, we're still designing. I want to do something that even if, when your property is in Miami and you, mm-hmm. you sell it, uh, it's a, come and buy it. Uh, <laughs> There's a developer who said that if you should pick his development and put it in the middle of Atlanta, it will fit. Is this that, that kind of development? Absolutely. Absolutely. So if somebody came to our penthouse, we mean, um, in iconic towers, I mean, she's based in the US and she has um, um, and so when I told her the price, billion dollars, mm-hmm. she said, I, Am I joking? It's cheap as this. She says, I can't get this for five million dollars in the US. Wow, I can't get this for five million dollars, wow. you know, and the quality is the same, everything. So, we're offering so much more for less. And the reality is that the future of mm. is Africa. And that is the future, mm. you know. And if we know that Africa is the future, mm-hmm. then let's start to prepare. Let's tell ourselves for the future. Yes, get up with the ground for it, mm. you know. Mm. So uh, people are coming from the dash in Bordeaux, but they have to come to the kind of space and environment, you know, that can, um, if not much better, okay. but it's just it's the same, you know, with uh, what they're just... I like that. Now, the wind here is amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Wow.
Well, so when do we have the air? So we have G2 here, mm. and G2 is our uh, top most luxury um, development. And I say it undoubtedly that um, that is the, also the top most luxury development in Nigeria. Mm. Maybe in the whole of West Africa, really, you know, in the first zone. It's just isn't equipped. Mm -hmm. All right, um, on Glover Road. And um, we're doing this in partnership with um, the foremost um, construction company mm -hmm. in Africa. That's Julius Berger. Mm -hmm. You know, so they're the biggest in the industry. Mm -hmm. You know, and it is strictly for the the zero and zero zero one percent. Zero point zero zero one percent. You know, so they're just twenty units of it. Yeah. So. Like I said, if you don't have a unity, in fact, before you get, there's a lot of profiling that maybe you must have to do before you, before you can get in here. Mm -hmm. you know, so we're talking the smallest unit here is going for about 3.5 billion naira. Okay. Oh. So it is really for the biggest boys. So what kind of vetting process are you going through to make sure that you capture the right people that are going to profit? First of all, you must be um, the CEO of a multinational, you right, you know, and you must be earning um, in the billion in this of Naira, no, not dollars. Well, millions of dollars. <laughs> yes, you must be um, at it. And of course, you must have, uh, because um, we're bringing like minds together, you know, those um, that are um, involved in shipping the economy, the politics. So you're not just buying a house, you're finding a network. No, you're buying a network. You know, at that level. What do people like me do to get away from my way into that? <laughs> It's not possible. Don't give me your anything if you think about it. <laughs> One thing I love about the project so far is the connecting. Um, yeah, that's a 15 floor lifestyle. Mm -hmm. That's the highest level lifestyle in the whole country at all. all right. So what you see right here is um, the 3D model um, of what we've been talking about, um, G2 by Cropstone. Yeah. Um, like my Andy did say, um, it is an ultimate statement. Um, this project will be the most sought after real estate in the whole of Nigeria. In um, my virtue of the unique selling points, uh, my virtue of the locations, my virtue of the infrastructure offerings, my virtue of the partnerships that we're bringing into this project. Um, talking about the location, it is strategically located in the um, the, the two best um, streets you have in the whole of Lagos and Wildland. And that is um, Glover Road. Glover Road is an address. Um, and then Thompson. So the project is located by the intersection of Glover and Thompson. Mm -hmm. Just, um, I just said the British Council. And so you have uh, over 120 parking slots, okay. you know. And be, I mean, spread between um, the basement and some areas of the of the ground floor. Now, also on the ground floor, you have uh, uh, a five star lobby, you know, which we will find that lobby. Yeah, you know, so elaborate on that. Yeah. So we here. Uh, sorry. Elaborate on what five star. Okay, so when you talk about lobby, yeah, uh, so the lobby is the space. Um, just like when you go into a hotel, you know, the space is just it's just a space. But the services you render in the space. Is what we call the concierge. Mm. So um, we have residents coming into this building. They need to be checked in. They need to be greeted. They need to be helped with their luggages. You know, we have visitors coming into the premises. You need to run your checks. You know, security just to be sure that someone is not coming and why you shouldn't be coming here. Someone is not coming and material money. You know, a couple of other things. To go a step further, we have an art gallery because we. The, the, the lifestyle of the people you're gonna have here are people that you know they they enjoy you know art and and all of that. So you have a little gallery position on the ground floor, and we have a VIP lounge as well. So irrespective of you know the apartment types you have up there, so we have a space dedicated you know for your meetings or for you want to receive guests that you want to bring you don't want to bring up upstairs. You know, so you have all of that on the ground floor. For also on the ground floor, you have a botanical weather feature. You know, just to help with the usually when it's you know it's very sunny in this part of the world, you need some form of um, 
humidifiers, something to cool the air and all of that. So you have that, you know, um, on the ground floor. So going on to, the, to on the first floor, you have um, the first swimming pool, which is a general pool and the clubhouse, as you can see, had the massive balconies. They're the largest balconies you will find in this part of the world. Mm. You know, you have balconies, you know, spanning up to about 400 square meters, which is even almost half the size exactly. Now, they have three apartment types in here and they're all masonites. Masonites in the sense that they are apartments on two levels. You know, so once you come into the lower level, you have your sitting area, your kitchen, and you know, a bedroom, and you have a stairs within your, you know, that takes you to, you know, the upper level and other. So let me just get it how all the apartments are. Mm -hmm. uh, the ground maintenance is about 750 square meters. Mm -hmm. So out of which you have, you know, balcony of between 200. So it varies at the end. So away from the ground maintenance, the next level of apartment you have, we call the Elysium lot. Elysium. 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 Yeah. The word Elysium means, you know, a massive infinite and all of that, you know. Um, they measure about um, 8,400 square meters. They also mention it as well. Balconies there are twice the, the size of the Grand Mesonite. And ultimately, you have the Sky Mansions, which are the penthouses. Two of them, 1,300 each with, you know, uh, private pools, gym and all of that. You know, so basically, every sort of apartment you choose here, it could be remoted to the number of rooms you want. The lifestyle floor is on the 15th floor. Like when I did say, it is the highest in the country as of today, or will be the highest in the country. You know, um, we have lifestyle floors on the 12th, on the 10th, you know, and I mean, this is going to be on the 15th. Mm -hmm. Total size being um, about 2,000 square meters. Mm -hmm. um, so the spaces are, you know, portioned to have the, the, the squash court, um, to have the um, um, entertainment hub. Um, and the same way, I mean, the cinema that could also double as, you know, uh, all the things. Then you have a, a five-star restaurant as well, which is enjoying views of the, of the city. Um, some people will say, why do you have a restaurant in a residential building? Yeah. You know, um, these buildings are designed to have their wet kitchen, dry kitchens and all of that. But you see, um, the, the class of people we want here are the people that always want to be in the confine of their mm -hmm. spaces to, they want to taste something different, they want to have an ala like menu, you know. Uh, and all of that. So we have a five-star restaurant up there. We have a boardroom, an executive boardroom also up there. We have a man in the same boardroom. A boardroom. Bedroom or boardroom? Boardroom. Board. Yeah, like a meeting room for executive, you know, okay. Um, and we have the games room, we have the, okay, I did mention the squash court, and so many other amenities. 2,000 square meters is a lot of space to play around. Mm -hmm. So we have all of that. You know, you have kitchen, you know, being designed by many and uh, and they're, they're the best in the part of the country, but we have taken it much further by introducing Gagano. Gagano also competing with all the brands internationally and globally, you know. Uh, we're going into bathrooms that are, you know, they you know, have unique designs and tastes to, you know, welcome or, you know, uh, blend with your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. The kind of people that we want here. It's impressive. And, and I mean, starting from the, the first floor, which is the, I mean, considerably the chief fact. <laughs> actually, actually yeah, the higher you go, the, the more expensive the units become. Um, but here we don't like to talk prices. Mm -hmm. um, we like to talk value propositions. Wow, this is huge. This is huge for the big ballers, actually. <laughs> so this has been an amazing conversation with Dr. Bang. I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate it because I'm inspired. You know, when I go up, I want to be like him. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. All right, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more amazing episodes coming out from Nigeria, Lagos.